Cassie. And Keely. Uh, in the culinary corner at the Creative Discovery Museum. We are gonna be making some soup today. Do you like soup, Keely? I do like soup. Oh, well, you're gonna love this soup. So let me tell you about the soup that I'm making. It is potato, leek, and bok choy. Bok choy? Bok choy! So let me show you what bok choy is. Okay. You're fine right where okay. you are. So bok choy is this big guy right here. It's a big, leafy, green vegetable. We also got Potatoes, I've got some already cut up. You know what a potato is, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, we eat those all the time. And here are our leeks. What are leeks? A leek is kind of just like a big old chunky green onion. Okay. And if you didn't have leeks and you had green onions instead, or if you just had a regular white or yellow onion, that would also work. So when we're cooking, if we don't have exactly what we need, we can make substitutions and we can use something we do have. So if you didn't have bok choy, cabbage would be an awesome substitution for the bok choy, okay? I have already washed and peeled my potatoes and I've even cut some of them up. So we want our potatoes about that big. Now, kids out there, you're watching, definitely you need an adult if you're gonna use a knife. Now, however, I do think that kids should get the opportunity to work on their knife skills. So if you have a smaller serrated knife, that is an awesome choice. Always remember that when we're holding a knife, kind of like we're putting it in our fist and we're only holding the handle part. This is a serrated knife, so it looks like a saw and we're gonna use a sawing motion with it back and forth to saw through our potatoes. If you don't have a kid safe knife, a smaller serrated knife under adult supervision would also work or you could even use a plastic knife. It's serrated and it would cut through these potatoes. You maybe have to work a little harder, but you could do it and then nobody's gonna cut their finger off, okay? So the first step for making our potato leek bok choy soup is we are going to boil our potatoes. So over here, I already have a pot of water and it's boiling and I'm gonna put these potatoes into the water. And while I'm working on the rest of my soup, my potatoes can be cooking. So they're probably gonna need, oh, seven to 10 minutes or so. This water in here, I've also gone ahead and put some salt in it, okay? That's gonna make our potatoes extra yummy. Just gonna cut that up. All right, now, so in another small skillet, we need to start working on our leeks and our bok choy. Actually, we need to cut up a leek. Okay. So here is our leek. I'm gonna peel this guy off right here. When we use leeks, what we're gonna be using is actually from here to here, alrighty? So I need a big old knife. I'm gonna cut that segment that I mentioned that I want, like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that segment in half lengthwise. And I'm gonna take a gander inside. It looks pretty clean. If it looks kinda dirty in there, just give it a rinse over under the sink. And then I'm gonna cut my lengthwise cut leek into fourths. And I have a job for you, Keely. Okay. So leeks are in layers, just like an onion is in a layer. It's in the onion family, it's very similar. And if you didn't have a leek, like I mentioned, you could definitely just use a white onion. So we're gonna be just taking those layers apart. Okay. And tossing them over into our skillet. I'm gonna put a little drizzle of olive oil into the skillet over here, and I'm gonna turn it on to, I would say, medium heat. So when you get those taken apart, they can come over here and go into our skillet. My potatoes are boiling away. They're getting soft and tender. I'm just gonna give them a little stir and maybe turn up their heat one more time. Alrighty, so Keely is working on our Leeks. Have you ever eaten a leek before? I have not. Okay, you're gonna eat one today. Okay. Okay, so to our bok choy. As I mentioned, if you don't have bok choy, you could use cabbage or you could use kale or spinach. There are lots of ways you could make this your own recipe. So now, Keely, what I'm gonna have you do is this is already washed. Okay. So I just need a few of these leaves like this. Okay. Torn off of here, and then you're just gonna tear it into bits. We could use a knife, 
But kids out there, this is a great time to get hands on and just tear up your bok choy. So you keep working on that. I need about a good two handfuls of okay. bok choy torn up. So now I've got my leeks over in the pan. I'm just gonna reach around you here and get my little spoon. My leeks are in the pan with my olive oil and I'm gonna let them get tender. So I want them to be soft enough that I can kind of cut them in half with my little spoon here. So that's gonna take a few minutes for them to do that. And let's check on my potatoes. They're boiling away. They're still pretty hard. They are not done yet. What kind of soups do you like, Keely? I like potato soups. Mm, well, this is, you know, really mm -hmm. mostly a potato soup. Um, what kind of soups do I like? I like any kind of vegetable soup. Vegetable beef soup, yummy, love it. So my leeks are starting to get warm over here in their olive oil. And in a moment, I'm gonna toss in that bok choy, but first I want my leeks to get fairly soft. And I'm gonna turn my potatoes down a little bit because they're boiling a little too much. Calm down, potatoes. <laughs> do you like mashed potatoes? I do. Me I like too. mashed potatoes with bacon. Oh, you know what? Bacon would be excellent with this soup. Once you get done with it, you could put a little, some bacon crumbs on top. Oh, that would be good. That would be so yummy. Another thing, you could make it your own. That's what you could do. You could put some cheese on top, maybe. And when we're doing the bok choy, we're trying to keep the leafy green parts, right? Not so Yeah, much. we really want the leafy green part. Definitely the white part is edible, but for the purposes that we need it for, we mostly want the leafy green. Okay. So this recipe called for, really the only seasoning it called for was salt and also some nutmeg. I took the liberty to add, I'm gonna add it in a minute, some pepper Ooh. and also some garlic powder. Ooh. If you didn't have garlic powder but you had minced garlic or some fresh garlic, now would be the time to toss that garlic in with these leeks and let it cook down a little bit. So my leeks are getting pretty soft. I'm gonna give them another moment. I might kick them up a notch. There we go. All right, and Miss Keely, if you would like, you can start taking your bok choy and tossing it over into my skillet over here. Okay. So now would be also the time if you had spinach, you could put your spinach in also and you would let it cook down a little. Spinach is very good. Mm. And this is a great, healthy soup. Yes, it has butter. Yes, it has potatoes. But those things, uh, you know, used sparingly mm -hmm. are good for us. It's a rainy day outside. It's a great day to make some soup. Yes. So I have some butter over here, one tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna put that in my pan and let it melt along with that. And I'm gonna do a check on my potatoes just with a fork. I'm just seeing if they are getting tender. Still a little hard. Might give them a little more heat. All right guys, so my potatoes are done and they are nice and soft and tender. Now there is some water left in them. I want to use some of that water, but not all. So I'm gonna pour most of it off, probably reserving about a cup of that yummy cooking liquid. It's nice and starchy and I don't wanna get rid of it. I want it, but I don't need all of it. Alrighty, so Miss Keeley, you can go ahead and pour in our milk. So we have a cup and a half, is that right? Mm -hmm. Of milk, that can go into our pot. Okay. Cause this is a creamy soup. We talked about potato soup. This is kind of like a potato soup with some special additions. All right, so we haven't really put any salt in it other than the salt that was in our uh, potato water. So we're gonna give it some salt, some black pepper, a little bit of nutmeg. I've got just like two little pinches. I'm adding garlic powder cause I think that's gonna make it extra yummy. And also you can always take liberties with this. If there's something that you want in your soup, by all means, it's your soup. It can go in there. 
Now all of our sauteed leeks and bok choy are going into the pot. We're not done yet, because this soup is gonna get blended. Blending a soup mm -hmm. with the blender. You could use a blender. I'm gonna be using an immersion blender, which is a special stick kind of blender that you can just put directly into a pot. Not everybody has an immersion blender, so you could use a regular blender and do it in small batches. Just be careful because it's hot. You could also use a hand mixer or just a potato masher would okay. also work. Alrighty, so let's see if we've got all of our ingredients in the pot. I believe we do. Let's blend our soup up. Make it creamy. All righty. Our soup is ready. Okay, set that right there. Keely, are you ready to try some soup? I am ready. It's pretty green. Wait till you see it. Oh, that's fun. It looks like spring. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Might be a little warm, be careful. Mm -hmm. Give it a blow. That is so good. Do you like it? I do like it. What does it taste like? Well, I can taste the potato and the onion, mm -hmm. and there is an unfamiliar flavor, but I've never had bok choy before. So maybe but I actually good. like it. Awesome, yeah. What would you maybe add to it? Um, I like salty foods. I might add a little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. You use garlic powder. I like to cook with garlic salt because then I have the best of both worlds. Oh, I very also good. think maybe some cheese and maybe bacon a sprinkles bacon on the on top. top. That would I be think good. That would be great. All right, friends. Well, we so hope you will try the potato and leek and bok choy soup at home. Mm -hmm. Also, don't don't be afraid to make it your own. If you've got something different you want to throw in, go for it. Get crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this has been Cassie and Keely in the culinary corner, and we'll see you later. Bye.